guys, I'm recording this mere minutes after not being able to order the adult Lightning McQueen light-up Crocs. I was on their mailing list for five weeks, and I woke up in time today to get online, and I waited on their virtual line for about an hour, and they all sold out, and I didn't get any. So I'm not in a great mood, so I just hope that things don't annoy me too much today. Welcome to the Christian Weekly Update. My name is Gibby, and uh, let, let's let's talk let's talk about how uh, crazy he's been. It's uh, it's been 137 days since Chris Laps begged for money, 571 days since Chris Laps uploaded pages to meet his paid obligations to the Sanchi comic, and 4,231 days since Chris Laps applied for a job. Let's go. According to the quickie, nothing has actually happened this week. Wow. Barb is not dead. We last heard from her 208 days ago. So we're just going to take a quick scroll through Chris's Twitter, and that's going to be most of the content here. All of the remaining haters, fakers, and hate fetish types of this universe, who cannot return to those they once were in their lives, shall each be addressed and removed from the remaining good and enlightened. The fully toxic shall not inhibit our process. He's going to genocide trolls. He's not, he's not going to kill like bad people, he's going to kill the haters. The hate fetish types. Toffee asks an important Sonichu lore question. Can Sonichu's own Pokemon? Or would it be like a human having a pet human? Like our Sonic I think there's a word for that. Like our Sonichu is human enough to be trainers? Or two Pokemon for it to be okay? I need to know. And uh, Chris is about to drop the uh, the latest Sonichu lore on us. It depends on their respective individual mentality. If they are intelligent and capable, like other Pokemon who could like Team Rocket's Meowth, I think he means who could talk. Like other Pokemon who could talk, like Team Rocket's Meowth or Mewtwo. There's a funny story of this one time where Sarah Rosechu considered becoming a trainer, and Christine Rosechu was supporting her. Then, they dumbly both each threw a Pokeball at each other and got trapped. Roberta had to break them out. It's just a funny story with those two characters. Write a comic, Chris. I've talked about this before, uh, but the fact that at this point, a large plurality of Sonichu lore is only existent on Chris's Twitter is a big issue for Christorians and just future people who want to learn about Sonichu. Because, uh, like, my video does not go far enough in teaching people, like, what it actually uh, is bec because Chris just tweets lore like that. How triggered does this tub make you, asks G Fuel. I don't get it, because it's French vanilla, or because there's no label on the top? I don't get it. Not triggered, really, but I do like French vanilla. That's not a bad idea. Okay, yeah, so I, I do think that that was the, that it's just that it's vanilla G Fuel, is that the problem? Now, as you all know, April 20th is the most sacred day of the year, because of a very special person's birthday. And of course, I'm talking about Sonichu. Today, April 20th, is now Sonichu Prime's birthday. Happy birthday with lots of love, my son. The, the fact that he didn't change this back after the idea, guys, is just insane. Like, Chris has even commented in the past, he's like, Yeah, it's, it's unfortunate that 420 is weed day. It's like, no, no, Chris. The reason the idea, guys, made 420 Sonichu's birthday is because it's Hitler's birthday. It was a Nazi joke. He, he, just, he just doesn't get it. All right, it's time for Helena's newest comic. Here we go. We got some buildings. We got we got Christian Sonichu. Got any idea who could have done this? And Helena says, it says that Sonichu did it. I'm guessing that's graffiti. Where? It says it backwards. And then you have Sonichu tied up in a chair. But mom, it wasn't me. And Chris is like, I'm very disappointed in you, Sonichu. I expected more from the best hero of our city. And Sonichu is crying. J j just ask Machichan. He sees it all, so must have seen me doing it. He sees it all, so must have seen me doing it. Okay. Okay, so now Chris, Chris is psychically contacting Magichan, and Magichan's like, My Chris-chan, Chan, oh my Chris-chan, oh my Chris-chan, oh my Chris-chan. I don't get it. And Sanchu's like, So, what did he say? That I am innocent, right? I am a good boy. And Chris says, We will go to him and ask Magichan in person. A and then th they go and, um... Uh, I, it, I guess Blake is dead? How am I going to tell this to Bubbles? He's being covered in a sheet, so... 
Blake is dead now because because of, of the graffiti. I think I missed a crucial plot point in an earlier comic. Pikachu says, I wonder if Blake is going to become an egg. I know people go to Quickville when they die, but where do we go when we die? We meaning Sonichus because Pikachu is a Sonichu. Chris says, okay, first off, Blake is not dead here. Second, the special Sonichus and Rosechus, including the pair of Primes, all get reborn and quickly regrown, with all of their memories still and continuing intact. Generally, a quick respawn, like having a respawn generator around. So Chris is like, oh, Helena, your, your comics are cool, but they take place in an alternate universe. Uh, and then she, she writes her comic, which theoretically would take place in this alternate universe, and Chris is like, nope, he's not dead. 26 years ago today, Knuckles Chaotix was released for the Sega 32X. Did you manage to pick up this cartridge over the years? And Chris says, yes, and I really liked the game. Why is it not available on digital release for consoles, at least? I don't, I don't know, Chris. Okay, so you might remember this from last week, where Chris is uh, selling blessed meditation stones. Now, he's saying, As preparation for the merge, I was strengthening my aura through meditation. Using my gate key crystal, I was able to attract an energy vortex around the temple. The temple is his house. I also used my own meditation gems for enchantment. For anyone who wants to have a piece of this energy toward enlightenment, get yourself one of these magic stones that I have personally blessed and imbued with a bit of my power. Of course, having an open heart, open mind, and open soul does start you up in expanding your mind. So he's, he's saying that he blessed some new rocks and that they have the power of his house, and now he's selling them because he wants your money. We got some more fan art. Tabs says, Chris, my boyfriend and I both drew Sonic you. Which is better, the first one or the second one? Just gotta say, this, the second one is obviously the correct answer. Chris says, the left one looks warpy and cool. The other one looks simple and really cute. I like them both. Alright, so a uh, popular Twitch streamer named Julie says, Thank you, G Fuel, for the mini fridge. Can't wait to put it in the new stand streaming... No. Can't wait to put it in the new streaming studio. Uh, now, now, there, there is no reason to comment on this. This is like a promoted tweet, right? Uh, this, this is basically an advertisement. Uh, and Chris feels the need to say, No need to slap a G Fuel sticker on that fridge. It's decked out. What did that add to the conversation, Chris? It, it didn't. All right, we, we, got, we got Johnny Bravo with a big comb, but he's also Cloud from Final Fantasy. And Chris says lol, and is a gif of laughter. Okay, so Chris says that he just found this. Uh, and what it is, it's the website Famous Birthdays. And so we have uh, Christine Wesson Chandler, YouTube star, the 6,489th most popular person on the site. Birthday, February 24th, 1982, from Charlottesville, Virginia, currently 39, Pisces. The 11th most popular person born on his birthday. The 3rd most popular person named Christine. The 15th most popular 39-year-old web star, okay. The 3rd most popular person born in Charlottesville. The 27th most popular web star born in Virginia. And the 22nd most popular animation web star in all. Alright, so let's read this, because I've never seen this before. YouTube vlogger whose videos are primarily autobiographies and responses towards others. She is the artist and creator of the webcomic series Sonichu. She is often known by her initials, CWC. Before fame. She began with a website which hosted her comic, Sonichu. The website was discovered and went viral through other websites such as 4chan and Encyclopedia Dramatica. Through constant trolling from others, she began to gain infamous notoriety. Trivia. She has stated that she has a form of high-functioning autism. She creates the comics around her life events. Family members. She has a father named Robert and a mother named Barbara, who are often featured in her videos. Um, actually, what about Sonichu and Rosechu, her children? Associated with. Her videos have been commented on by Joel McK- Really? What? Her videos have been commented on by Joel McHale on WebSoup, as well as Greg Hughes and Anthony Cumia on their show Oopie and Anthony. Joel McHale knows about Sonichu? Mr. Community knows about Chris Chan? I gotta, I gotta look into that later. Okay, so, so, so Chris is the 6,500th-ish uh, most popular person, and uh, Joel McHale... Who, who was the main character on an extremely popular sitcom, 
is number 10,000th. Chris is twice as popular as this guy. I, I don't know. I don't know. It's, it's, mm-hmm, don't like that. So Chris is saying that he just found this page and he thinks that they're missing his present photograph. So he has this photograph and he says, here's a suggested photo. Thank you for somebody to upload. All right. So an account called Respectful Memes posted getting hundreds of compliments from guys online. And it's Neptune and it's, he's a girl. And the, the, the context of this is that in SpongeBob, Neptune uh, made like a bajillion Krabby Patties and they all suck. And SpongeBob in the same time made one, but it tasted good. So he actually won the competition. So then SpongeBob is, is me, the person making the meme. And the really good Krabby Patty is that old lady at the gas station who called me a handsome young man. So, so the argument is that this is worth more than this. And then Sweetie Bloom says, you know, the random compliments from strangers, just being nice is the best. The girl who gave me my second vaccine said my eyes were beautiful, and that meant more to me than all the wolf whistles and cat calls of guys trying to get in my pants. So, so let, let's take a guess about how Chris is going to try to relate to this. I agree, getting a crowd of attention is fine, but the overwhelming amount of positivity directed at you can get tiring after a while. But a few or one at a time on the spur of the moment is easier and more humbling to appreciate and feel. I am happy you got kind words today. When has Chris ever been in a crowd? of overwhelming positive <laughs> when has chris ever been in a crowd of overwhelming positivity i don't think it's ever happened uh, as this guy points out abel um the the only instance where chris would be like receiving positivity from one individual uh would be would be jacob i i i just don't understand i do not understand here's the the cookie that i showed in the beginning of the video i love sonichu here's a cookie my sister made for me based on him it's, it's a good cookie I just needed something for my joke to work. Who is cooler, Sonic the Hedgehog or Crash Bandicoot? You choose. I wonder what Chris is going to choose. He chose Sonic. All right, and we also, uh, we're going to end this on an Instagram post that I don't have access to. Thankfully, it's on the quickie. I got my stimulus earlier this month. Spent some of it on a three-month subscription of the customizable Master Box from The Crystal Council. A few days ago, I get a bonus buffalo figurine as a totem spirit animal. My second box for the month just came in. It also had a buffalo figurine. Now my first buffalo has a friend. The one on the left was the first buffalo. They look like a dude-gal couple. I named them Bill and Jean. But Billy Jean is not my lover. They're just a ship from within the herd. The buffalo chip is not my child. This man is 39 years old. And he, he spent his stimulus on crystals, on crystal animals, and he's playing with them, but he's not playing that they're a couple. He's, he's playing that they are specifically not a couple, but that the other imaginary buffalo in their herd, who are not only imaginary because all of them are imaginary, uh, but are double imaginary because he doesn't have figures to represent them, uh, they, they want these two to date. They ship these two. It, 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 it's not that he's shipping fictional characters, it's that he's shipping characters that he could just have them be dating. Thank you for watching. You can follow me on Twitter at GIBI underscore Devin. You can follow me on TikTok at the exact same address. Uh, I'm, I'm still working on my uh, extremely long, it's going to be over two hours at this point, uh, Chris Chan Absurds update video. I'm working on another Absurds video. Don't know which one's going to go up first. It depends on which one I uh, care more about in the moment. I already shot another episode of Rough Draft with Gibby. I just need to edit it uh, because it's 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 on a very difficult to talk about subject. The last time I talked about uh, Chris's trans issues, I had like 5,000 subs, and now I have like 25,000 subs. So there's a lot of people who don't know why I use the male pronouns to refer to Chris. So I figure that's about time I should explain that again. And uh, you 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 can probably tell that that took a lot of time to word correctly. Uh, so I don't know when that's going to be out. Thank you for continually supporting my channel, and I hope that you subscribe and like this video. Also, my, my pop socket broke, which is unfortunate because I'm, like, dropping my phone all the time. It's It's been a bad day.